edition of Cutting Horse Central, and we're here with Miranda Westfall, who's been uh, working with Clint Allen Cutting Horses for four years now, and she is helping us head up a new project uh, called So You'll Want to Be a Loper, uh, a series dedicated to the education of the lopers in our cutting horse industry. Miranda, can you tell us a little bit about yourself, and we'll go into what our goals are for this project. Yes, um, absolutely. So I grew up in Northeast Ohio, and I've rode horses ever since I was a little girl, but um, didn't get involved in the cutting horse industry until um, I was probably 19. Mm -hmm. uh, my family, uh, my Aunt Allison and her husband Chris, my Uncle Chris, um, they got me started in cutting horses. They were my very first job. And um, I've been doing this now for about 11 years. And I'm very passionate about it. And I'm happy to call it my lifestyle. Mm -hmm. Well, so um, what, uh, what made you decide to take on this project? What are your, what are your goals for it? Um, well, I've had to do some hiring with Clint, or help with the hiring, I should say. And um, it's, I find it extremely hard to, I don't want this to, this to sound bad, but find good help in this industry, knowledgeable help. Yeah. And that's not a bad thing. I think that we can educate people that want to be involved in this industry mm -hmm. and help set them up to have a more successful career in this industry. And because I'm so passionate about my job and this business, it was just something that came to me that I've been thinking about for the last couple of years that I felt there's a, a big need for it, mm -hmm. that we need to help educate these people that want to start out at, you know, at the bottom of, you know, in the, the loping position and work their way up through the industry. So Miranda, what can people expect from this series? Well, I think that we have a lot of really fun things planned. Mm -hmm. um, we've discussed doing educational clinics uh, designed to give new lopers a uh, jump start in their new job. Um, they'll be better set up to, you know, handle the tasks of what a loper has to do on a day-to-day -day basis. Mm -hmm. uh, with that, you know, we want to involve trainers and vets and, and people that can give the knowledge that they will need as they, you know, grow in this business. Mm -hmm. um, along with the clinics, we've talked about doing a pay web page on Cutting Horse Central. Mm -hmm. um, we've also talked about having a blog where, um, I mean, I, I can head up this blog and have guest bloggers come in and talk about tips and tricks of the trade that veteran lopers use. Um, as part of their job and uh, news and um, information on horse shows that we all go to and keeping everybody informed and on top of everything. Yeah, sounds like a great idea. So what are your plans to get the series started? So we're looking to have a meeting at the Breeders Invitational in Tulsa, Oklahoma in a couple of weeks. And there, we'd like to get uh, veteran lopers and new lopers together to kind of bounce some ideas off of each other, see where this series, where this program should go, and kind of get some input from other people. Um, I really think that this is going to be beneficial for new hires and also the, the trainers looking to hire. Mm -hmm. um, it, should, it should benefit both ends of the perspective because, uh, you know, the more educated these people are, the more successful they're going to be and the easier they're going to step into a program for a trainer, the easier it's going to be for that trainer to have them in the program. So I think that it could be a really beneficial and fun project and we'd like to see what everybody else well, thinks. Thank you, Miranda, for your time. We are looking forward to the uh, upcoming events for this series. Uh, stay tuned in Cutting Horse Central uh, for information on upcoming events, um, including the meeting that will be held at the Breeders Invitational.